Hey everybody, Sharon here from GameYak.com. Here we are today back in the Caves and Cliffs update for Minecraft, grabbing the Wax On, Wax Off achievement. This is to apply, remove, and reapply a layer of wax to every single variant of copper block in the game. First thing you need is going to be a ton of copper. Copper is going to be a new metal type. It's going to be this reddish ore right here. To mine it, you are going to need a minimum of a stone pickaxe. In terms of rarity, it should be on par with something between coal and iron. It does appear in large amounts and at every elevation, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. However, you are going to need a large amount in order to get this achievement done. You are going to need about 180 or so pieces in total. So get to mining, and then once you have enough pieces, it's time to bring it back to your little crafting station. It's going to be just like any other ore. You are going to have to smelt it in order to create ingots. So you should have two stacks of 64 and a stack of 52. Once you have finished converting all of the ore into ingots, we are going to need to convert them into blocks. So take all of your ingots and then bring it to a crafting table. It's going to be nine ingots per block, just like any other crafting material. So just make sure you create the blocks of copper. You should get about 20 in total. Once you have your blocks, what you want to do is you want to make sure you take four of them and you want to make sure you place them in a nice row right here in an open area. So place them like this. Then what you want to do is you want to take the remaining 16 blocks back to the crafting table and we are going to convert these into cut copper. So just make sure you convert it it's going to be an even exchange rate so it's going to be four blocks of copper to four cut blocks then we should have 16 blocks of cut copper take four of those and make sure you place them in a stack right next to our regular blocks of copper so we should have two columns like that then we're going to take our remaining blocks and then bring them back to the crafting table take three of the cut coppers and make sure you convert them into slabs you should get six you only need four but since we get a minimum of six we're just going to take four and then place that next to our columns then the last thing we are going to do with our remaining pieces is to convert them into stairs so it's going to be six blocks to make four stairs and then this is going to be the last type of block we need so make sure you place them right here and that should be every single block type covered now that we have all of our copper requirements out of the way, we are going to need to find some wax. So grab some iron, you only need two pieces or so, and then make sure you craft some shears out of it. So you can do this at a crafting table, or you can actually do it in pocket because it's only a two by two requirements for the crafting. But once you have the shears, make sure you take these and you want to make sure you go look for some honeybees. Once you find the honeybees, make sure you go up to their nest. What you want to do is you want to make sure you use the shears on a full nest. You know it's full if the two dots are full of honey and the nest is dripping. Using a pair of shears on a full nest is going to allow it to drop some honeycomb. So make sure you do that. You're going to need a total of 32 pieces of honeycomb. So depending on how many nests you find, this may take a long time or a very short time. Once you have your honeycomb, what you want to do is you want to head back to where your copper is. The last thing you need for the achievement in terms of tools is going to be an axe. It could be any type, so just take some wood and whatever building materials and make sure you craft yourself an axe. So the last step, unfortunately, is going to require quite a bit of patience, and that is to wait until your copper oxidizes and patinas. So all you have to do is just play the game and then wait. It should take a few hours in real life time. So you know you are done once all of the copper is this bluish green color. Then what you have to do is you have to make sure you scrape away the patina. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you jump up, go to one of the rows, and make sure you scrape each of the blocks one time. It should convert to this color. Then for the next row, you want to make sure you do each block twice. It should turn into this color. And then finally, for the last row, you want to make sure you scrape each block a total of three times to convert it back to a normal copper block. In total, you should have all four colors of copper like this which is going to represent each of the oxidation levels then what you want to do is you want to make sure you take your wax and you want to make sure you wax every single block so in total that's going to be 16 blocks so make sure you get every single one and make sure they're all different types so you should have the four different types of oxidation multiplied by the four types of blocks for a total of 16 and of course you can check how many blocks of honeycomb you have left in order to get the count right. So once you have that done, we're going to go back to our axe. Now we need to scrape off 
the wax. So just make sure you go up to every single block again, and then you want to hit left trigger over them. It should say wax off on all of them. Be very careful not to accidentally hit something twice. We don't want to accidentally scrape any oxidation off and then have to re-wait for things to re-oxidize. So be very careful to go over everything once with the axe using left trigger. Once you have the wax scraped off, we are going to go with our second set of wax, and we are going to reapply it once again to all 16 blocks. And then after you get the wax reapplied that should be good enough for the achievement so once you have that set you just walk away and then we should have everything re-waxed our achievement should unlock there it is it's going to be for 30 gamer score and that's all there is to it